Hi everybody! Happy Sunday afternoon. I know I'm not Gangster Chef, but I'm Gangster Chef's girlfriend and he is out working so I decided to surprise him and do a little gangster episode myself. You wanna say hi Jacob? Hi! Today I'm gonna prank my dad with a bug. Shh, don't tell anybody. But today I'm gonna make stuffed cheese meatloaf. So I thought I'd make a little video in case any of you guys wanted to see how you can make American food as well. And I'm just defrosting the meat and I'm putting everything in measuring cups because white people measure everything. We don't do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So just um, be right back and we'll get you all the steps on how to make stuffed mozzarella meatloaf. And I'll be helping her. That's right. We'll be back. All right, everybody. We're back. Say hello. Hello. Okay. So what we have is... Let me just switch the camera. I'm so not good at this. How do I do this? You have to. Oh I'll man. Oh, I have to turn it. You have to. Like this. I don't know. Okay, so I have a pound of ground meat. Lord, I hope it's ground meat and not deer or something like that because yeah. he goes to the meat market. But either way, yeah, right? Yep. Okay, Jacob. So, nope. First, we're going to do a. Mommy, almost made me spill this. Cup of bread crumbs. In there? Yep. Okay, wait a minute. I gotta figure out how to flip this. Sorry guys, we had to figure out how to get the camera to work right. Alright, so we have a pound of ground beef with a cup of breadcrumbs. Then we have a teaspoon of Worcester sauce, um, a teaspoon of um, parsley, onion powder, basil, Italian seasoning, garlic, and a little salt. salt, and pepper. And then half a cup of milk. And then we're gonna mix that all together. Make sure you clean your hands after this. Yes, and make sure you clean your hands before, right, buddy? Yep. No, no, no. The next ingredient can I help? Yes. Can you go check on your baby sister? Yeah. Okay, turn it off. Okay. <laughs> we mixed it all together. And then now we're going to split it in half. Okay, now you're gonna make a little loaf and in a pan that's um, sprayed with cooking spray, you're just gonna make, flatten it out a little bit. I'll show you guys in a second. Okay, so you're gonna flatten it like that. And then you're gonna get cheese. I'm using shredded cheese. We're gonna have lots of cheese. Gangster Chef loves cheese. Okay, cheese just like that. Then you're gonna take the second half of the loaf and you're gonna put it right on top of it. You're gonna flatten it out. You're gonna put it right on top. All right, and now I'll just show you how to make the sauce and then we'll put it in the oven. Okay guys, so I could not understand how he was actually able to videotape himself and do all this. And then I look up and I found out that he had a selfie stick on top of the fridge that holds his phone. If I would have known that earlier, then we wouldn't have had so much trouble. So this is what our loaf looks like. Again, I took half of it on the bottom, put uh, mozzarella shredded cheese, and then the other half I just um, put right over the lower part. So now we're just gonna make the sauce. For it, we're gonna use ketchup. Hold on, buddy. Um, a good amount of ketchup. I would say about a cup. We're gonna use Worcester sauce again. Keep it going, a little bit more, buddy. Get a little bit more. That's good. 
a teeny bit of barbecue, honey barbecue sauce. Honey barbecue, which is really good for you. That's good, that's good. Oh, Lord. Okay, thank you, Jacob. Um, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, and a little bit of salt. Okay, buddy. A teeny bit. All right. Jacob is certainly being a great helper. That's good. Right. A little bit of pepper. Next, we're going to do in the... And then... Jacob. Right. Sriracha. Sriracha, which is Dad's favorite thing. Is it already open? No, it's not. Okay, there you go. Put a teeny bit in. You, you can do a little more than that. There we go. <laughs> <It's farted. laughs> it farted. All right, you can tell we are certainly not going to do these videos. And then we're just going to whisk it. And again, we're going to put half of it on top. Um, let it cook at 350 for about 30 minutes. And then put the other half of the sauce in 15 minutes before it's done. So that way it's nice and warm. What are you doing? Thank you so much and have a great Sunday. Go Patriots. Say bye. Bye. Go Patriots. <laughs>